Hi everyone. Let's make today black chickpeas kebabs. Very easy to make and nutritious as well. So let's get started. In a pan add 2 tablespoon of oil or ghee. Heat on medium heat and once it is warm add cumin seeds. Then add chopped onions. Saute for 3 to 4 minutes. Then add 2 chopped green chilies, 1 inch of ginger, and 5 to 6 garlic cloves. Saute till onions are golden brown. This will take 5 to 6 minutes. Add in the boiled chanas. To boil chanas, rinse and soak 500 grams of color chana overnight. Drain the soaked chana, place them in a pressure cooker, add water and cook until they are soft. Add in 2 teaspoons of mango powder and salt to taste and mix well. Black chickpeas are already cooked so we don't have to cook them completely. We just need to dry the extra moisture. Chanas look perfect. Extra moisture is dried. And now we can remove from heat. Let's prepare a very aromatic spice powder for our delicious kebabs. Dry roast on medium low heat. 1 teaspoon of fennel seeds, 2 tablespoons of chana dal, 1 dry red chilli, 1 cinnamon stick, 4 cloves, 1 black cardamom and 1 teaspoon of black peppercorns. Keep the flame of the gas to a low while roasting these spices and keep stirring them in between. One slight golden brown and aromatic. Grind to fine powder and keep aside. This smells really amazing. Once chanas are cooled, blend them in a food processor or mash them coarsely using a potato masher. This smells amazing. In a large mixing bowl, combine the mashed kala chana. Four to five teaspoons of the prepared spice powder. Then add five to six tablespoons of breadcrumbs. This will help bind the mixture together. If the mixture is too sticky, add a little more of breadcrumbs until you reach the desired consistency. Take a small portion of the mixture in your hand and shape it into flat oval patty. Repeat with remaining mixture. Coat with flour and prepare all kebabs like this. Heat oil in a pan over medium heat. Place the kebabs in the hot oil and shallow fry until they are golden brown and crispy on both sides. 
This should take about three to four minutes on each side. You can also deep fry them if you would like to. Kebab break on frying, add two to three tablespoons of roasted gram flour or bread crumbs in kebab mixture. A simple and delicious recipe. I'm serving on a bed of shredded lettuce, sprinkle of tangy chaat masala powder, garnish with some fresh mint leaves. Serve kala chana kebabs hot with yogurt mint chutney or tamarind chutney. This looks absolutely delicious. Here is a simple and delicious recipe that you can use for different occasions. Give these super delicious kebabs a try and let me know how you like them in the comments below. Please like, share and subscribe to Culinary Crossroads for more delicious recipes. See you in the next one.